the old sailor's myth, don't bring a banana on the boat. My brother-in-law and I have completely convinced ourselves that it's not true. We've tested it time and time again, commercial fishing, sporty fishing, but my dad really thinks it's bad luck. You actually believe in the in the banana thing? Ah, it's just that superstition. So I just put a banana on his boat and he has no idea. So let's see what happens. Oh, what happened to the banana on the boat? Yeah, what's up with Somebody that? Somebody found it. Doug likes playing around with the bananas. Hey, look how good it worked. Come yeah, we proved it wrong. <laughs> we it's proved it wrong. How was the fishing yesterday? It was pretty darn good. Hey guys, last day. Uh, pretty windy yesterday. Couldn't get out on the water. We're on our last day. I'm going to outfish my dad again as always, but uh, we're going back after some lings, jigging them up, hopefully get some halibut today. We got a couple chickens, but uh, not, nothing crazy or nothing, nothing to uh, brag about on the camera yet, but uh, we're going to go back out, like I said, we're going to do some jigging, we're going to hit some humps, we got a 20, 30 mile run, uh, stay tuned, we got some good fishing coming up. Okay, just got out here, good run out, flat calm out here. I'm pretty excited. We got another hump here. Uh, we're fishing, you know, 130 to 160 feet. Trying to stay out of those rockfish today. Um, these lings are coming up on that, on that hump. They're feeding on all the rockfish. We're just about ready to hit low slack tide. Any slack tide's good. As soon as that slack tide hits, these ling cod are gonna get up out of those rocks. They're gonna start cruising around. So I got my traditional eaten White Twister, this thing did wonders for me yesterday. I don't know, gas is expensive. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get one more on it. <laughs> Here we go, straight to the bottom. I always try to keep it vertical, especially when I'm running rubber baits. You know, back trolling a little bit. Just popping it through those rocks in that reef. Look out, look out. There it there we is. Go. We got a taker. We got a taker. Oh yeah, she's a shaker. Is she a taker or a shaker? Oh. Pumpkin. No, I don't think so. <laughs> that was too shallow. Here we go, nice linger. Closer. Third one for the winner. Third for the charm. First linger of the day. Atta boy, Nolan. Woo. Keep that, keep that lead down rolling. Double header. That's what we're talking about. Sweet. Yeah, like I was saying, the, these these link cod on the slacks will move up. You know. The few years I spent commercial fishing, long lining for these things, we fished, you know, a lot deeper, you know, four, five, six, seven hundred feet, uh, sand flats, and you know, big feeding grounds where we'd get a mixed bag. But when you get up into this 120 foot reefs, these humps, these link cod are feeding on the rockfish. And then you get pumpkins with them. I can't believe we drifted over it already. Oh, it's yeah. a vermilion. There we go. This is, nice. a, this is a big vermilion. This is a good fish. That's a vermilion rockfish. Great eating. Look at that. Almost identical to the yellow eye, but obviously you can tell slightly different colored eye. And when, it is a different color. It's more of an, uh, a reddish orange, I guess, compared to the uh, what is it, bright, I guess bright orange yeah. for the yellow eyes. But anyway, a different rockfish. These are not protected and we'll be eating him. He's going to the cooler. You ready? I'm ready, you ready? Let me see. Yep. It's a green one. Oh, it's a greener. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it back to you. Ready? Whoa. Oh, sorry. This is another cool fish, guys. If you look at the belly, he's got this green tint. Now, depending on their diet, some of these lingcod, 
Now, they're not a different fish, but they actually have, whoa, we call them greenlings, and they just have this green tint to them. Here, grab this. You can see, look at, you can see that green tint to them, and these are greenlings. And when we cut this guy open, he actually will have that color, that fluorescent green meat. When you cook it, it goes white, but another good ling. Fish and chips. We're just drifting over this hump right now. The tide's ripping still. There it is. Right on that down swing again. So we double header again. Ah, that's a vermilion. Vermilion. Oh, there's a yeah. There's another vermilion. We'll keep them. Yeah, another big vermilion. That's a pretty big vermilion too. That's a nice fish. That's cool. We're getting a lot bunch of these vermilions. That's you know. You get you get out here in the ocean, you ri you really don't know what you're gonna get. You've got multiple species of these rockfish. You got these lingcod cruising around, eating everything they see, including each other. You get halibut on these humps sometimes, these reefs, but not as often as you'd think. You kind of got to go on those more of those sandy, gravelly humps. You know, there's another nice link. Again, good hook set. There you go. There you go. Nice. Another nice fish. Great ling. Hey, Dougie's on to one. Another nice ling caught, I think. Cabazon. Cabazon? Cabazon. I'm down with that. Keep him? Yeah. Bigger one. Yeah. Okay. Now these are also a cod. I haven't got one. We haven't got any actually out here yet. No. Um, good fighters. But uh, these are these are called cabazon. They're uh, actually a family, sculpin, sculpin family. Sculpin yeah. Family. Sculpin family. And the coolest thing about these right here is, you would think stay away, but. They're actually fake. So, <laughs> fake defense. Go cool little horns on their eyes. Yeah. Okay, we just caught a couple of these guys. These are rock soles. Another different species. Flatfish. Very similar to a halibut. Same family, flatfish, but um, good. Called rock sole. Big one, too. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. Yeah, a little alley. That's the biggest one today. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked. Dragging that bottom, just skipping the cannonballs like we talked about. Little octopus, little bait, you know, about a one mile an hour troll, but good little chicken. Great fish. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. We changed it up a bit. We dropped some uh, some shredder bars and some bait on a nice 300 foot hump, right on slack tide, so we can keep it there. But looks like Dougie got into a good one right away. We'll see what we got. Could be that 30, 40 pound halibut we've been looking for. Good eater. Nice thing. Yeah, really. a lot of playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Nice. Well, wasn't the halibut we're looking for. We're going to keep <laughs> trying. Anyway, we'll keep Woo! trying. Big butt. Big ling. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, okay. Yeah. Look at that. No. Look at this ling. Big old ling. Bring him here, Dougie. Wow. 
Wow. Woo. Look at the size of this girl. Wow. Another monster. Biggest one of the trip. It's a nice 30 pounder, probably. We're gonna have to get her out there. She. Wow. Well, we're gonna end it on a good note. I'm gonna head back. Thanks again for watching. Tune in next week. Lots of good fishing. Didn't get our halibut, but uh, you know, stuff like this is uh, it's awesome. What a fish. We're gonna let her go. Here, here, come here. Finishing up, look at how green this thing is. That's one of the greenest greenlings I've seen. That is one of the greenest greenlings. Same.